never-ending struggle. Main cast, Duke a Duke and Sir Duke. Yeah, riding the beast today. And I'm trying to find a welder. Yeah, I know, that's what I've been trying to do for the last few months. But this time, I'm not gonna be uh, calling anyone. After you. Yeah, but this time I'm not gonna be calling anyone. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna be riding. Ah, gosh, busy, busy. Yeah, riding around garages and all the. Oh, how do they call them? Craftsmen. Yeah. And I'm gonna be trying to find anyone who's actually willing to take on that job. Because there is a difference when you're trying to speak with someone on the phone and when you actually show up and yeah, just point out what's what needs doing. Because obviously, yeah, it's not like a overly massive job. It's only a couple of cracks, but still. Yeah. Last chance, really, because after that, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Oh, flop, 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 floppy. And another thing, I haven't been riding this bike in the uh, yeah, last couple, or three months. So yeah, I'm going to take it easy. I died over there almost oh yeah I forgot that those tires they're pretty much new because yeah I only used them for about what, a couple of weeks last year when I went for that trip so uh, yeah they're still new and a little bit slicky yep you can tell that over there Woo. Whoa. <laughs> is it leaking already yeah, I'm sure it is God, I forgot how much fun this bike is comparing to my new monster. Oh, by the way, you can hear that, can you? Yeah, finally got the Terminioni on it. Yay! I was missing that. I mean, I used to have Terminioni already, but uh, yeah, after the old man's uh, two years ago, knock it over. Yeah, I wasn't needed cash. So yeah, they were a little bit bit bent anyway so I sold them so yeah I got it back now and of course I bought him second hand uh, I was so lucky that I managed to get him in really really good condition they're actually much better than the previous one I had so yeah all good um, 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 um. Now it's just a case to find someone. Oh, lady from Krakow. Hey, hello, Poland. I thought to myself, that's a bit weird. The position of the steering wheel. <laughs> and here we go. So yeah, I would love to. I would love to go to France. You know, I'd love to go for that trip. Oh, did I mention actually? No, I didn't. Yeah. Me and Rosa, we were planning to go for a, a bit of a survival trip around around France. So, you know, like a minimal camping instead of even taking a, a tents and stuff like that. Yeah, we're just taking, you know, a couple of sleeping bags, hammocks and just necessary gear, you know, to uh, make fire and, you know, and maybe except tiny little, you know, gas stove just in case if the weather is going to be uh, crap. But uh, yeah, just bare minimum so we can fit it in uh, one big rucksack, you know, for two people. But of course, I ain't gonna go nowhere if I'm gonna, if I'm not gonna get that weld first. Which is top priority at the moment. And as I already mentioned in the previous vlog, yeah, nobody's willing to do the job. So, yeah, that's why I'm out today, trying to find a one decent man 
you can weld aluminium. Because so far, nothing else but failure. Complete failure. Oh, hello. Mm. Shake, shake, shake. Oh yeah, I can already smell the oil pouring down on my exhaust. Mmm, yep. Still no smoke, but yeah, that will come soon. <laughs> Oh boy. I mean it's not like really massive massive leak but still it's it's bleeding you know it's kind of like very very slowly just dripping bit by bit. Which is not cool after spending one and a half thousand pounds. Oh another thing to be fair it's been already past that 45 days since I went to receive uh, my money on my account. Well, not receive, pretty much what the bank did, they gave me like a temporary uh, fund, you know, to cover up that what I spend on the, on the service. And they said that if after 45 days, the bank of that other guy won't say anything or not gonna disapprove my attempt of trying to receive my funds, then yeah, after those 45 days, the, the temporary funds, they're gonna stay permanently, which in simple terms means that I'm gonna get my money back. So it's already after those 45 days, but yet the money are still in the account, but I haven't heard anything from my bank saying like, oh, listen, mate, uh, yeah, your money has stayed in, that's it. So what I did last week, I sent them an email asking, well, if that's already sorted or not. Obviously they got 10 days to uh, reply, I mean 10 working days, so hopefully over the next few days I will be 100% sure if, if I get my money back. If I do, well, pretty much it's gonna mean that I'm gonna have an engine for free with big hole in it. <laughs> so yeah, nice. Can never be too easy in biker's life, isn't it? Oh, who's that sexy beast over there? Hello. <laughs> I know, I'm so modest. Oh, come on, I'm just fucking around. Everybody knows it. <laughs> Red light. Red light district. Okay now. Okay, it's red light. Let's stop here for a moment. Take a breath. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Wake up! <laughs>
werde alles für deine Familie tun. Viel Glück. Danke. Hier, Flugscheine, bitte. Sie fliegen nach Köln? Nach Köln, ja. Haben Sie kein Gepäck? Wir, ähm Das ist alles sehr unerwartet. Wir bleiben nur für eine Nacht. Mein Mann springt für Wotan und der Opa in Köln ein. Der Bariton ist krank. Von Karajan, der regiert. Wir sind sehr gespannt. nicht mitfliegen werden. Herr Stefan Neumann und Herr Karl Neumann, melden Sie sich! Bitte folgen Sie uns. Second, you can actually think that you're in a different country. <laughs> Even the sea looks gorgeous today. Industrial estate because I was told that apparently there is a uh, quite a few welders over here All right, so what I was talking about. Oh, yeah industrial. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, you are so beautiful. Oh my god. You're so beautiful Man You are a beauty A little bit buttered up, but still one of the nicest cars I've seen today. Shit. Obviously, it looks like there's a lot of work to be done on it, but it's fucking gorgeous. Very nice Pontiac. Wow. Right. Uh, industrial stage, loads of welders. Let's have a look. WSM plastics. No. Semiconductor, la, 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 la. brakes, printing, uh, packaging, new. Yep. La, la, 
Well, uh, electronic sheet metal fabrications. That's one place to ask. Oh, another sheet metal fabrication. <laughs> sheet metal fabrication. Uh, before I'm gonna go there, apparently there is a bike garage. Well, there is one. It's just a case I've been here the last time about, I don't know, eight years ago. And I'm not quite sure what it was. So obviously, yeah, first I'm gonna ask at the bike garage. And then, yeah, anywhere else. It was just a, a good suggestion of my friend to pop in here first. Hello there. Hi, uh, just a very quick question. Do you do aluminium welding? Like engine casing, fixing cracks? Uh, I'll get it done here. Yes? yes? Wow, you're the first guys actually who said yes, so I'm on? very happy. It's very tiny, it's pretty much a messed up job. When the guy did a time search, where you get the plug, where the kickstand comes in, obviously what bike is it? The Ducati Monster. What the guy did, he didn't drill you know, far enough, put in the time set. Split the case in. Exactly. I mean, it's not like split, like you cannot ride it. It's just literally a hairline crack. But obviously, if is I'm going to... on the engine casing? On the engine casing. It's not a frame. The problem being... It's aluminium and it has to be welded two sides. But at the moment, what I'm looking at is literally just stop the bleeding. You, won't be, able to weld, you won't be able to weld in situ. Mm. No. Okay, so before continuing any further with the video, I just want to show you that uh, those pictures, they are one of the first results I managed to find on Google. And uh, it appears that actually it can be done. And guess what? Without taking the engine apart. Hmm, it's just the case that obviously in the garage, uh, they wouldn't be able to earn any money if they would do it on the bike. Because, you know, obviously stripping an engine, you're looking at 500 pounds and then putting it back together, another 500 pounds. Hmm. So, yeah, it's always easier to say, nah, we can't do it. See see what I mean? That's one of, that's one of the things that I'm really fed up with when it comes to uh, dealing with mechanics in this country. You've got, you've got to clean it out first. You'll never get rid of the oil. You've got to grind it out to get the fresh out of the other one because the oil impregnates the alley. Mm -hmm. As soon as you start welding, all the oil comes out in the well and then it doesn't work. These pictures which I uh, showed you earlier on, well, according to the guy, the owner of that Multistrada, uh, pretty much what he said that he had it done over three years ago and he was able to put another loads, loads, loads of miles. So, well, I guess it can be done. Even if the weld is not super strong, it still stopped the oil leak and Keeps you going. That's the problem. That's the problem got. Is there is any? It, it's the engine casing, not the outer casing, is it? No, that's that's the trouble because the only thing you can put on there is that if you took it apart and cleaned it up yourself, you can put chemical metal or chemical J, metal, JB, weld. J, JB weld, something Very like good. that, just across it. Mm. JB weld. That's about it, really. Really. Sir, uh, sorry to disturb. I'm just riding around looking for my uh, luck. I'm looking for a welder, aluminium welder. 
And I'm just asking anyone around if anyone knows any welders. Yeah, there's loads of them here. You just gotta go to the office to get out and weld it. That's the only thing. Well, what's the name of him? Any of the lads in here can weld that aluminium, but the office is over there. See over there? Okay, yeah, you guys, the truck there, is, yeah? yeah? Here, no. Ah, over yeah, there, sorry. That's the office. You need to go there. Okay, I might have a chance and over they there. Weld they weld aluminium here, that's no problem. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be Push great, because, yeah, I've been riding around. I just get literally like a tiny little weld to be doing on the engine case, and. Yeah, I'm struggling to find anyone to do it, you know. Well, no, good here. I personally oh. can't put the air good here, but we, we go to the office first, that's it. All right, awesome. Thank you very much. All right. Cheers. Okay, that's a good start. Hello there, is this the reception area? Uh, more downstairs. More downstairs, oh, okay. Uh, I'm just looking for an aluminium welder pretty much and I didn't, I wasn't quite sure who I shall uh, speak with. Uh, would you have a job you need welding that for? Uh, yeah, aluminium, aluminium welding. It's just an engine case, motorcycle engine case. Okay, uh, I can speak to this, come down and see yeah. those guys downstairs. Oh, alright. I wasn't quite sure, yeah, we'll let you go, sorry. That's <laughs> alright. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, still working on it. And <laughs> what it is, it's on the outside and it's literally like a couple couple inch, you know, crack. Right. And I'm just desperately looking, you know, riding around yeah, and asking I mean, people. Unfortunately, to even to look at it and even do it, we'd be charging £100 to do it on, the, on anything. On anything. On anything. To charge. Okay. Uh, okay. Case is, I just spent £1,500 on an engine replacement and the guy's only an engine with a crack. So I'm just <coughs> desperately yeah, looking for anyone to, you know. I mean, if you wanted it cheaper than that, the other place is Tripab over there. I think they do aluminium, don't they? I mean, you'd have to strip obviously to the engine. It would be stripped down. down. Yeah, because it has to be uh, welded from the inside as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it has yeah. to be clean and. Yeah, yeah it's going to be clean. Okay. Uh, well, the engine itself, well, it's motorbike, so maybe it's that big, so it's, it's, it's not an issue, you know, getting it delivered. It's just the case that at the moment I'm just looking at anyone just to, you know, have a little of a blob of the outside just to stop the bleeding. So You're looking at me done now? Uh, well, not exactly this 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 very moment. I, I know probably that wouldn't be cheap as well, but as, as I said, at the moment, you know, it's not the case of money. I just yeah, want to have it done. I'm going to, in two weeks' time, I'm going to France. And yeah, I had this engine replaced, you know, a couple of weeks ago, and yeah, this yeah. this is what it is, you know. It's yeah. So, would you want to do it while it's on the bike? So uh, you can then get it down to your mate yeah. because I don't think we can do that. I think uh, we need it totally yeah. out of the mm -hmm. bike. So it has to be, let's say, because you know I'm not really good with welding. That's that's no, why I'm here in the first. So it has to be welded from both sides, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. From inside and outside. Okay. So yeah, I just took a day off and yeah, yeah. try my luck around here, you know. I've already been in, uh, what's the name, uh, EBS with the bike and like, ooh, we ain't touching that. Yeah, it's a dike. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, I would even be happy to sign a disclaimer, oh, listen, you know, you don't have to take any responsibility, yeah, even if it cracks in the next thousand miles, I don't care, that's fine, I'm happy with it. <sighs> Remember Alf's Motors in Worthing? The guy when I went initially a couple of vlogs ago to uh, have the inspection, you know, and have it on the paper 
and the guys will say, oh, no, 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 we can't do that. After they said first that they can do it, yeah? So pretty much he just gave me an address, you know, for that guy. Lovely. Oh, and I think I'm again in the same dead end. It's a little bit like the story of my life. Dead end after dead end. I can't be even bothered talking anymore. I'm just disappointed. 